Hey guys, welcome to our unofficial Tom Ford Tuesday. In today's video, we are going to be diving deep, comparing the newest addition to the Tom Ford Soleil Neige holiday collection. This is the first frost. I do already have a dedicated video to this palette with a couple of looks. I will link it so that you can check it out. But we are going to be comparing this to last year's Soleil Neige. I also pulled two permanent quads from my collection so that we can compare as well. And because you know I'm extra, we're going to take it a step further. I, side by side, will be doing eye swatches of First Frost and Soleil Neige. We'll be doing them with the brush dry, we'll be doing them with a finger, and we will be doing them wet, side by side, so we can really compare, because sometimes swatches aren't enough. We need to get it on the eyes to see how they're really going to look. So we're going to do all of that, compare with the others that I pulled from my collection, and let's see. Let's go ahead and get started. curious as to what is on Le Old Face. It's a lot of Tom Ford. It's only suiting. It's Tom Ford Tuesday. But everything will be listed down below in the description box for you. Quick little side by side of the two contenders that we're going to be putting on the eyes side by side. So from first frost, I'm picking up, I have notes, I'm sorry, you see me looking down, I have notes. <laughs> I want it to be as thorough as possible, you know, so that we can justify, is this going to be truly, purely a collection edition purchase? Or is it going to be a purchase I know that I need because it's not like what I already have? Okay, so we are going to be trying out these shadows three different ways. Wish my eyes luck. But for you, I will do it gladly. So we're going into that lightest shade. This is a true white sparkling shade. The right side is the first frost side. So this is the first frost blended with the brush. We're gonna use the same brush, just cleaning it off on my microfiber towel. So the application is exactly the same. The lightest shade from Soleil de Vie is a golden peach with like a pink gold sparkle. All right, so here we have First Frost and Soleil de Vie. Next up is finger application. Soleil de Vie. First Frost. First frost, I'm picking it up on the brush first. And then I'm gonna damp the brush. First frost, wet. So Le Divia. Because I'm usually swatching colors on my eyes and doing different looks in videos, someone asked, how do you remove your eye makeup without messing up your whole face? Well, truth is sometimes I do <laughs> and I have to just reapply everything and that's fine. But most often I just go in with my makeup remover, this little guy. Is that what it's called? Yeah, makeup eraser. <laughs> And this you just damp and it removes your makeup. And I like the smaller one because they do have a full size one for the face, which I love. And we're not removing the face. But this size is perfect and ideal for just the eyes. So that's because a few of you asked about that. That is the answer. It's not always perfect, but you know, for the most part it gets the job done. We're gonna go into this pinky shade, and this is like a very soft pink. Now into the second shade from Soleil de Vie. This is like a peachy pink. 
I want to say. I'm going to apply that with the brush. First frost, Soleil de Vier, with the brush. Going into the one from Soleil de Vier with my finger. First frost with my finger. Now I can really see the pink gold kind of shift. So soft, first frost. Soleil de Vier. Now we're going to go in with it wet. I'm just picking it up on the brush. All right, so wet we have first frost and Soleil de Vier. I love now that as I've built it up and wet the brush for more intensity, the first frost, I'm really getting more of that pink. And the one from Soleil de Vie is a true peachy pink. Oh. All right, we're going on to the lighter of the brown shades. This is like a mid-tone mauve brown shade. <laughs> You'll see. I love the brush application on this shade. Oh, so beautiful. Now the lighter of the browns in Soleil de Vie, I would definitely describe as like a light bronzy kind of shade, but let's see. First frost, Soleil de Vie. Going in with my finger, Soleil de Vie. Finger into first frost. So finger application, first frost. So Le Divia. All right, now we're going in with a wet brush. I mean, how much more wet metallic do you want? I mean, just with the brush and the finger, the shade is so pretty. I think this is my favorite shade from first frost for like the one and dones yeah but maybe that'll change we'll see but so far that's the one i like the most i feel with it wet it definitely makes it a little more metallic do i dare say so here we are wet. This is first frost and then Soleil de Vie. They're both nice and metallic and really fun, but you can tell totally different. Do you see why I kind of call this a brownish mauve? It's not brown. There's a little more pink to it. And the Soleil de Vie was definitely like a light bronzy now in its metallic finish. Ooh. Now we're going to go into the darkest shade. Now this is a brown. This is like a light brown, but I feel that there's like a little tinge of pink to it. But let's go in with the brush and let's see. This is a beautiful one and done shadow. Now the darkest shade, this brown hair from Soleil de Vie, it's like a chocolatey brown and it has a little bit of a peachy kind of sheen to it. So let's apply that with the brush. This is not my best blend job, but remember, this is just a quick little eye swatch. All right. So just with the brush, here is first frost. And Soleil de Vie. It's going with my finger. Soleil de Vie. My finger into first frost. 
So with the finger, first frost, soleil de vie. Starting with first frost. So both wet now. I honestly, of the two, I feel like this is probably the only color once it's on the lid really looks pretty similar. The other ones you were immediately able to see differences. But here is the darkest and last shade from First Frost and Soleil de Vie Wet. So for my eyes, I just went ahead and went into the darkest brown in the outer eye and in the crease, blended very nicely. This formula is outstanding. The shadows literally blend themselves. Amazing. And then I went in with my finger with that pinky golden shade and kind of just built it up. I did a little bit of the Wayne Goss on my eye. Did a little soft wing. And then for lip, I mixed Tom Ford's Indian Rose with the Balm Frost. And again, everything that I have used on my face will be listed down below in the description box for you. You guys, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Side by side on the lid, you can see how different. Similar, yes. A tone here, a shade there. Now, I pulled two permanent quads from my collection. I pulled. You ready? So we're going to compare Nude Dip and Golden Mink. Both are permanent. This one happens to be in a limited edition packaging. Oh, beautiful. I couldn't resist. But this, just a heads up, this is not the same formulation. This one is not the wet dry formula. It's not as good of a formula, but it's still a beautiful formula and I wanted to compare. And so we're gonna do Nude Dip and Golden Mink. All of the quads today are in the neutral family. I wanna say Nude Dip is a warmer neutral. Yes, yes. Here is First Frost and Nude Dip. The top shades are all from First Frost, and then the ones right underneath them are from Nude Dip. Compared, you can see Nude Dip is a neutral, but it is a warmer kind of neutral, especially compared to First Frost. So if you have Nude Dip, it's a beautiful palette, one of my absolute favorites. But I still think that First Frost is different enough to want to have the two and truly enjoy the two. Okay, so I swatched First Frost again. So we have two separates keeping them organized and separate. Now, I hesitated on comparing these two, but because I compared this particular quad to Soleil de Vier last year, I figured let's see how it compares to what is comparable to Soleil de Vier. <laughs> Long story short, we are going to be going into Golden Mink. Now, Golden Mink is also a different formula this is not of the wet dry formula family. I don't wanna say that these shadows are dusty because they're not. It's just a completely different formula. So we have Golden Mink compared and Nude Dip. We had to do it. We had to do it. We had to get it out of our system. We had to compare. We had to see. I wanted to see firsthand. And I have to say, while similar, they are not the same. Being completely honest with you, if you put all four of these shadows right beside each other, I would totally stop and look at them because you know what? I want to know which one I really want. In my humble opinion, the wet dry formula is the best eyeshadow formula when it comes to Tom Ford. It literally blends itself. It's it's a beautiful formula and the finishes are always so beautiful, like outstanding. I do find First Frost to be in a class all on her own. I truly hope that you found today's video helpful. I love getting into details and really diving deep and comparing and doing all of these fun swatches for you. Let me know your thoughts, comment down below. Thank you so much for allowing me to share all of these with you. Stay beautiful guys. I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye.